today I'm bringing you back down to the chicken barn to see where we're at. We've been dealing with not enough airflow in the chicken barn and it's 95 degrees with a heat index of 107 so we've got that for 10 days. So we cut, this is extra water. Um, I have to run my water with a hose down to the chicken barn so I try to keep extra. Anyway, so we cut a couple openings in the south wall so we could have some airflow coming in. I kind of like that because I can look out and see my garden. I don't know if you can see that on the video or not. We brought in a big fan, fixed it so that you couldn't get your hand in there because it was open. Anyway, here the girls are. We have a fan hanging in here. We have new nesting boxes, thanks to my sister. And there's a hen already up there. I moved some of my littler ones. You see these speckled ones? Those are the barn rocks, and that one is a wine dot, silver laced wine dot. I went ahead and moved them in with the big ones because they're not that much difference in size. I heard them squawking last night. The big ones did not like it. They don't want them on their roost, and so far they haven't got on their roost. You can see it's 85 degrees in here, even with that with the fans going. Plenty of fresh water, plenty of feed. The eggshells are getting thin, so I'm trying to push the um, grit. This is the one side of the chicken pen. My friend that sticks closer than a brother came down and uh, he's the one who cut the windows. I can't believe those windows are not showing up, but anyway, He's an organizer person, so he's organized my shelves. This is my feed supply. I'm trying to keep it ahead of uh, things. Now here, well, let's show you this one first. <coughs> this is my other chickens, and you can see they're pretty, pretty good sized. <coughs> Still a little over 80 degrees in their pen. And I plugged that door so they can't go out in the pen where the others are. They have to go out this side door here. As you can see, that little Buff Warmington's doing. I love that chicken. Doesn't he look like he's the gonna rule a roost around here? He's looking at me like, who are you talking to? Anyway, I have, of course they have these chickens, the new batch has never been raised on sunflower seeds. Believe it or not, they won't eat my sunflower seeds I throw out to them. So, oh, forgot to show you, we also cut a hole in each one of these pins so that they have airflow. We just did not have enough airflow, enough draw. So we now have screen covered windows on two sides, there's four of them. We have a big exhaust fan that we put up here in the ceiling. I don't know if that's helping or not. We may have to put a fan up there in the ceiling. Let me go show you the little chicken's outdoor pen. I've been moving my chicken manure today. Okay, so, and see, they've got a place they can go in out of the shade. But one of my projects, straightened that tarp up and put another one over there as they come out by that water. You know, it's just, they need more shade outside. Right now they're spending a lot of time inside, which is fine, I guess. Lots of feed. I'm trying to stay ahead of the demand and the, what's gonna happen with the shortages. I figure the feed will go up I've got two big barrels, two big barrels of scratch. And I've got that big barrel and this barrel as layers. And that barrel and this barrel as sunflower seeds. I'm going to my local MFA today. These two are empty to get more egg layer and scratch just so I have plenty in reserve. All the tools are on the walls. I just love this little chicken barn up here. 
we lowered the ceiling so I have <clears throat> room for storage. Chickens are happy. I've got to get some more straw. Bring in here. <clears throat> Everybody's happy, but it's hot. It's hot in Missouri. Digging my tiller out today. Hopefully I can get it started. This is my manure pile. That's what you save to put on the garden for next year. Okay, I wanted to show you. The hay fields have been baled. I always like it when they bale the hay in Missouri. Let's see, today is June 15th, I think. So, if I don't get my garden tilled up here soon, I'm going to have to start mowing the sucker. I've got okra. You can see the weeds are about to take over. Tomatoes, which I've staked up once, but they're going to have to have it again. Potatoes, have a sunflower seed or two. Well, I think that other's pokeberry. I don't even think that's a sunflower seed. Onions was kind of a wash this year because I guess I planted the wrong ones or didn't do them right. I wanted bulbs, and these don't have very big bulbs. Just little bulbs. My little scarlet tanager, I don't see her this morning. Let's go into the garden a minute. Can of bulbs. This is kind of a sad thing for a garden to look like. We've got lots and lots of peppers. Lots of peppers. Oh, you can see my scarecrow. I don't think she's cute. My friend that sticks closer than a brother made that too. Everybody should have a friend that sticks closer to the brother. My zucchini, look how tall those leaves are. And somewhere in here I have some little zucchini. I'm wondering if I can't um, thin out some of these leaves to get better airflow. See, so you have a little one down there. And this is a mystery plant. I'm letting it grow because I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a birdhouse gourd. Just popped up. Oh, there's a zucchini. Oh, so let's tear it off the bottom. Eating it. I don't know what that is. Turtles, maybe? Okay, got another one in there. As you can see, the tomatoes are blooming and they're huge. Again, I'm gonna try to get my tiller through here today. Tomatoes, 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 peppers are in here. I've got jalapenos, red peppers, green peppers. Uh, hollyhocks are starting to fall over. This is my little flower bed in the garden. Oh, look at there. Got a green pepper. You either have to work in the early morning or you have to work in the evening because it's too darn hot at 95 degrees. Pole beans are starting to grow up the trellis. Cucumbers are starting to grow up the trellis. I don't know when I've Got lots of blooms, so I have to start watching for cucumbers. Same way here, lots of blooms. So hopefully this trellis will be covered. I planted more peppers out here. That is amongst those weeds is zinnias. I'm gonna go try to start that tiller. If that doesn't work, I gotta go weed eat. Well, I still got a little bit of coolness about the morning. It's probably, I'm guessing it's about 85, 90, getting pretty hot. And it's only nine o'clock in the morning. Can't get beat Missouri weather. Okay, signing off.